From the beginning, part of the house plan was to include photovoltaic or PV electrical generation, which is why the roof is sloped at 10 and 12 or perpendicular to the average angle of the sun here in this part of the world. We had selected a metal roof, standing seam metal roof, which is 25% recycled steel. But we selected it not only because of its recycled content, but because it'll last for a long, long time. It also has standing seams to which you can use some fairly standard aluminum clamps to secure the photovoltaic panels to the roof. If you know anything about Nick, you know that he walks the talk for sustainability and green building. You have to start off a trend with having somebody like that bold innovator. So somebody who thinks that they're gonna try to do it and they do it. And so then you kind of see like, okay, well, what do they do to do that? And how feasible is it for other people to do? The way that City of Columbia, that we're lucky, is that we have a municipal electric utility. So our electric utility does give rebates for people to go solar for their house. If you install a 10 kilowatt system like we did, it's possible to get the rebate from the city of $5,125, which took a $30,000 system down to a $25,000 system. In addition, the federal government gives you a 30% rebate for this throughout the rest of 2017. No telling what will happen to that law in the future, but that's the way it is right now. Houses in Missouri typically have an energy expense of $100 per month per 1,000 square feet. For a house the size of Nick's, the energy bill would be about $300 a month. It will take him around 50 months or 4 years to completely recoup the remaining cost of installing the solar panels. So, in January of 2020 and on through the rest of the century for the life of this building, there will be no energy bill so that you're actually making money and you're not adding any energy burden to the world that we're living in. We just actually looked at his meter and he has produced to the grid uh, 7,631 kilowatt hours and he has used 6,554 kilowatt hours. When I got the first utility bill, I was a happy camper because it was minus $179. We're producing more energy than we're using, which is really great. We expected to see a net zero energy use in the house, but we were very pleasantly surprised to see that it's net positive. Even though this is just one family in one town here in America, I think that if everybody did it, we'd be a lot better off. Net positive houses are, they're pretty unique, uh, especially for a city the size of Columbia in a state like Missouri, where you don't have a lot of renewable energy on our grids in the central U.S. But Nick Peckham's house is definitely above the curve. <laughs> this was no surprise that he would build the greenest house on Earth. It's no surprise either that he would open up his house to people to see it. It's no surprise that he would try to encourage other people to do the same thing at their house. Now that said, you know, there's always that question of like, what's feasible for the average homeowner? Somebody who doesn't necessarily have Nick's expertise. So it's possible when you have architects and engineers and the local tradesmen that helped construct his house, now that they have that knowledge, that they can then try to uh, replicate it in other homes. Education's gonna play a key role in making this possible for others.